Stanford University. What we found was, um, surprisingly, that there is not only a clear effect, but a very strong effect in the incidence of civil war in Africa and the state of the climate system. And looking forward from that, we can say that for a degree increase, which is something we expect over the next few decades, you could expect roughly a 50% increase in the occurrence of civil war in Africa. Sort of a rough calculation is that about 400,000 people additional would die because of the climate change increase in civil war conflict. It comes down to really three things. One is that civil war is a lot more likely when the economy takes a downturn. Um, the economy is a lot more likely to take a downturn when, especially in Africa, when the agricultural sector is not productive. And the agricultural sector is very likely to be unproductive when temperatures are very hot and, and rainfall is very low. And if you put those three things together, you can understand, at least in part, why higher temperatures might lead to more civil war. Now, we can't exactly say that that's the only mechanism or the only reason that there is a link, but that seems to be the most logical one in our, in our view, at least. One of the key points is that none of this is inevitable. None of this is a, a really a prediction of the future. What it is is to say that if we don't work to really adapt these systems to in, improve the abilities of, of the economies to absorb shocks in the, in the weather system, whether that means through better crops or through better um, insurance schemes for farmers. If we don't do that, then there is a potential for a very big increase in civil war. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.